The pattern in this hat is made by a series of double increases and double decreases. So that's what a double increase looks like. And there's the double decrease. So let's take a look at the double increase. It's a great favorite of mine. I love the symmetricality of it. So into this next stitch, I'm going to knit, but not release the next stitch. Do a yarn over around the right hand needle and then pop it back into the lead, the front of that stitch and knit again. So it's a knit, yarn over, knit. And if I take my needle out of it, it's a little wiggle of yarn. There's the first knit, the yarn over, the second knit. All made into that single stitch. So let's do it again. Into the stitch, knit, yarn over, knit again. Bring the yarn forward. And then the other part of the increase is the purl equivalent. So into the stitch, the far stitch, purl, yarn over, and come into the stitch again and purl a second time. And it's the equivalent on the purl side. And that leaves you on completion with three front stitches side by side and three far layer stitches side by side. And I leave them like that. I don't sort them out straight away. But when I come to them on the next round, I sort them out. I leave the increases as they are until I come upon them on the next row or round. And there is an increase made on the previous round. There's several ways to reorganize or rearrange the stitches. If this is your first time doing it, I suggest the following. Pop the near layer stitches onto a spare short needle. The cable needle is ideal if you have a short one. So I've got my three front stitches and my three back stitches. And now I'm just going to rearrange them into double knit sequence. So I'm going to take a front stitch, a back stitch, a front stitch, back stitch and a front stitch and now they're rearranged and I can return them to the left hand needle and proceed to work them. When I make the increase I use regular rotation purling for almost all the rest of my double knitting, I purl the opposite way around the needle to normal, which I call alternative rotation purling. It gives me a better match between my two sides of my fabric. But for the increase, they are more easily reorganized if the yarn overs and the stitches are worked with conventional purls. The cable needle method is a safe way of rearranging the stitches for your first few times you use this increase, but there are a lot of these increases in this hat and, and this is how I rearrange them and work them at the same time. So I've approached my increase, I've got three front stitches on the needle, so I'm going to knit the first one, bring my yarns forward sneak round behind the, the two front stitches and into the first of the far layer stitches. Then just gently let the two front stitches go and rescue them. 
now I'm in a position to work the purl. I'm using alternative rotation purling here uh, because it gives me better balance between my two layers. But when I make the increase, I use regular rotation purling. Now I'm ready to work the second of the front stitches. Bring my yarns forward, sneak round the back, drop off the loop, front loop, and now I'm in a position to purl that back stitch. Now I just have a front one and a back one, and I have both worked and rearranged that increase as I go. And having left it sitting on the needle for a round or a row, it's a little bit more stable than one that has just been made moments before. 